What is going on guys, Juno Sloth here and welcome to Builders Hall 7. In today's video we're going to tell you everything you need to know about the new Clash of Clans update. From the brand new defense, the Giant Cannon, to the new troop, the Dropship. Which one are you most looking forward to? Let's have a vote. Leave a like on the video for the Giant Cannon and drop a comment down below for the Dropship. Now just before we start guys, this is the developer build, that's how we're able to show you the update gameplay so early and make sure to subscribe because I will be bringing you lots of gameplay breaking down these different aspects. This one is just to tell you exactly what is coming, so let's get into it guys. Let's first kick off by explaining the giant cannon. Now the giant cannon is amazing guys, it is super powerful. Obviously its weakness is them air troops who are on attack, you will want to try and take this out. If you're defending, you'll want to try and have this in the middle of your base. Now let's check it out. As the Barbarian comes in, just watch the cannonball there, just keep on going. The more troops we put in, it will just blast them all out of the arena. It just takes the troops out so quickly. Even a brand new level 15 battle machine just check out how much damage the giant cannon does long all are the days where you can take out all of the buildings around the builders hall and just send in the battle machine because this thing if you haven't taken it out will take out your battle machine make sure to use it wisely guys you've got to think there'd be other buildings around here as well we wouldn't just be directly hitting the giant cannon these troops would be occupied with other troops but that is the giant cannon for you how do you think you will use it let me know guys and let's move on to the dropship now the dropship, the brand new troop. What does it do exactly? Well, let's show you and then we'll move on to a realistic attack. So the dropship is basically a balloon, but it drops skeletons instead of a massive bomb. So let's have a look at it, guys. Now the thing about the dropship, as the balloon itself takes damage from air, the skeletons that it drops will then take damage from ground troops. Now, as you can see, it is quite good at taking out the giant cannon because it cannot keep up with all of the skeletons but it is whether you can isolate that the mostly mortar as well is also good but it's whether you can actually isolate that let's check out an actual attack so here we are then, a realistic base. Now could you isolate the giant cannon or the multi mortar to send the dropship in? In this case, clearly not, because the balloon itself would be taking damage from air troops. Let me know how you plan to use the dropship based on what you see here. Now I have found that the skeletons drop themselves are quite good at distracting the giant cannon so your battle machine can do work, or better for the dropship, I actually find tanking for the baby dragons because the balloons have more health is a little bit more helpful. But honestly guys, I'm not 100% sure where the dropship would be more beneficial than one of the other troops. Let's check it check it out anyway. So the dropship coming in will tank for the baby dragons. Now even though the baby dragons will lose their ability because the dropship is an air troop, this still works quite nicely. Like I said, the baby dragons have less health, so the dropship tanks for them air defense a little bit longer and just keeps your baby dragons alive and then as the dropships go down your baby dragons might then get their enraged bonus to help power through the base now that is the only way you can see the dropship there really having an effect on the multi mortar and the cannon that is the way from what i've tested here on the dev build that i think the dropship is best used by tanking for the baby dragons but like i said let me know what you think down in the comment section below you can see that we're just going to get the two star here without even using our battle machine so let's send the level 15 battle machine around the outside and that brings a very nice point that alongside all of the defenses within your base, the battle machine is now upgradable to level 15. So his ability, guys, is that much more powerful. And obviously, each hit, he does more damage. He has more health, but the defenses around him 
clearly do more damage as well so it really works hand in hand and as you can see on this one we're going to wrap up with about 87 percent two star not too bad for using two sets of dropships that pretty much wraps it up for builder hall 7 guys make sure to let me know what you think in the comment section below no estimated date for this yet it's not official i'm sure as soon as i know i will have a video for you guys but what are you most looking forward to the dropship or the giant cannon 90 percent two star there fantastic stuff i have been your host judo sloth make sure to subscribe for more clash of clans and until next time peace out guys stay tuned for more clash of clans